There are 25 things that you can do with the Cocos Creator Editor that you didn't know were possible. The Cocos Creator Editor is filled with a lot of great features that might be hidden at first glance. By clicking on the snapping button, you can make movements of an object in the editor preview area by any increment you want. Just edit the values here and then click on the node and hold the control button. This will make it follow the rules you put in the snapping button. This works on both 2D and 3D nodes. If you have a specific user interface or placement for items on the screen built by your artist, you can add a prototype image to use as reference. You can use that by clicking on this button. You can also make it transparent so it can overlay on top. If you want a 3D scene, you can look around it by holding down the right click button on your mouse and using the left side of the keyboard to move up, down, left, right, forward, or back. Add the shift button to move faster. If you build a node and it's perfectly built, you can add the lock function so nobody can edit it accidentally. This will also lock all the children of the node too. If you need to do more advanced searches for items, you can click on the magnifying glass and choose from UUID, bundle, or from specific asset types. If your asset size is crazy and you need to collapse them all, use this button. It works great for the node tree as well. If you just want to have a quick view of the scene, you don't have to load it. Just right click and choose the preview scene in the browser and it loads in Chrome. If you love hotkeys, you'll find all of them in the shortcut area, as well as edit them to your liking or reset them back to the default. The node library can help you quickly add UI nodes, render nodes, and custom codes, or drag prefabs and place them there. If your game size is too big, you can disable different features in the feature cropping, like XR, 3D, and physics. In animations, if you have an action that changes like position or size, you can add a curvature to it by clicking on the curve, choosing a curve preset, and then playing around with its anchor points. If you're at the point where you start testing your game on a phone, you can view your game by scanning the QR code on Cocos Creator with a phone. You can then test your game just like you would on any computer. If you're testing for different phones, you can change the size of the phone while testing from the list already available. Or you can build a new one if you don't find the one you want in the preferences. If you're having trouble finding where your issues are, you can add console calls and view them from Google Chrome while testing. There are two good ones to use. Console.log will send messages to the console, while console.error will send you an error message before doing the next step. If you want to test your game to make sure it works with low-end phones, you can throttle the Chrome Dev Tools and in the Performance Insights area, just throttle the slowdown to 6x. If it's running well, your game is ready for low-end phones. If you want to know how well your game is performing, check the bottom left. It gives you all the details you need to know and make sure you're that there aren't any performance issues. If you see a lot of things in your console log and want to save it, click the log button for a complete list. When building your game, you can save your configurations and use them again and again by using these two buttons in the build area. When you look at a mesh in the preview, you can choose to look at it as a mesh or as a UV layout by switching to UV layout. Also, you can get some information on the vertices and triangles. If you don't like the default setup, you can move the windows in your editor to wherever you want, undock them, or combine them into one window. If you want to build a material and don't want to start from scratch, you can always clone the internal materials that are in our internal database of materials. While there, check out the other things you can use by default. Clicking on an item you can add to the inspector area will find that in the assets folder or node tree and brighten it and give it a little shimmy. If you wanted to keep the inspector from changing, press the lock button and it won't change till you click it again. If you need to have two inspectors, just pin one down and open up a new one. 
The pinned one will stay with the note already chosen, so you can copy from it. If you want to clear your storage and start over from the beginning, you can just delete files in the project slash temp slash scene slash local storage folder. 